Old Woman Bay. campsites there. The coastal trail has not come this far so the only way to access this route is by water. Brad's in the front of the canoe, Alex is in the kayak. We're just going right around the little peninsula up there and uh, should be going around I think two and then there's a bay which is called Brule Harbor. Never been there before we want to go check it out. I've always wanted to come here. This water is really rough. A lot of times we tried to get out here two different times two different years and we never could do it just because the water was so rough and it's dangerous as you know Lake Superior gets super super rough and we just got lucky this whole entire week that we have calm water amen yeah it's been great it's pretty wicked dude nice and easy on your right left Yeah, there's four campsites in the bay. There's one right up here, right around this corner. This is an island. There's a campsite right on the other side there, on that big rock to the right. Yeah. And then far in in that corner over there, the furthest in that you see the corner, there's a campsite there. Yeah. And then uh, there's a campsite on the right side of that bay inside there we can't see from here. Uh, yeah! Echo! <laughs> echo, echo! Hey! We are in the middle of Paradusa. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Paradusa. What language is that? Uh, Paradusa. Lots of firewood. Oh yeah. What? Is this the site? Definitely not level. I wouldn't want to. Uh, I wouldn't want to stay here. I don't think. If you're in a jam, I guess. Bradley found a stream. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, here's the other site. Couldn't see a marker. We're just guessing that it was in this corner. Wow, nobody comes here, eh? Look at this, how thick it is. Yeah. Yeah, nobody comes here at all. Well, let's go check out another site. This is brutal. Keep a constant tension on him. It's gonna be easy to rip loosen slack, loosen slack, loosen slack. No, no, yeah, drag, yeah. You don't want to snap your line. Give it to Paul, it'll be easier for us to pull. Wait, let's get right next to him here, Brad. It's pretty big, eh? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a massive guy. That's a big fish. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, Paul, be careful there with your uh, lead. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the other side. Well, we gotta. Uh, we have to flip him in here or we have to go to shore. Oh, he's getting out. He's getting away. Got it, got it, got it. Tighten, tighten your drag. Oh, she's a pike. Oh yeah, that's a big pike, but we're going to eat for her. 
All right, so you got to get them in here, Alex. No, that won't work. Oh, Alexi. Keep it. Ah, don't, don't get yourself in that hook, man. Your line broke. I had it by the leader. Cut myself, dude. Yeah, I don't want to disturb the area. That's a good idea. Fuck, man, he took a... Tighten your drag just a little bit and grab the end of the line with your hand and then fling them in with your, with, uh, put the line in your hand. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. You're gonna lose them like that. No, guy. Okay. What? I'm down? I'm Here, down. let some slack <clears throat> and then grab the, grab the line up there instead of using your, your, yes. And then get him close to the boat, like hand him in close to the boat. Hold that, hold that. Hold that. Hold yeah, that I got it. My rod. I'm, yeah, gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the lead. I'm gonna grab the lead. And then fling it in. I know. One, two. There you go. That's it, don't get trapped up, don't get trapped up. Man, I should have brought something so we could actually drag him behind. Oh yeah, he swallowed that, man. Did he? Yeah. We can get it out. I'm cleaning it in the swampy area here. Are there no leeches in here? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, we're not in stagnant water. There shouldn't be. Oh, Bradley, nice catch, buddy. Thank you, sir. That was awesome, dude. Flay, fish is flayed. We're going back out to catch one more, so we can have a good appetizer for dinner. Here, hold that angle. Hold that. I just want to follow it all the way up. Okay. Grab, grab that GoPro and see if you can get a shot under water. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. How's that? Happy. Yeah. Choppier now. We put our life jackets on just to be safe. You never know. If we get one rogue wave, we go over. All it takes is one of us with our life jackets off to pull the other guy down. So better be safe. Sorry. It's crazy how fast it changes, eh? Oh yeah. Well, close one thing I don't like about going close to the rock is it becomes a big bathtub. Now we're getting just the rollers and not the bounce backs. So the closer we go to the rock, it's bouncing back and it's more like a washing machine. But they might break up underneath, right? Underneath on the big rock. That's what I'm thinking, the break. If you want to do that, we'll do it. In my opinion, I think it's safer out here. All right. But it's up to you. Now we'll stay out here. It's because we're hitting rollers now, right? Yeah. If we go close, we're going to be getting the rollers plus the bounce backs. We just got to stay head in. Until we get to where we want to cut in, and then we cut straight in, yeah. and we just ride the waves all the way back. 